hello viewers in this video I am going to show you how we can distribute our traffic into two regions app services using Azure traffic manager and uh, obviously with SSL support and the SSL we will be using uh, the SSL provided by the app service uh, I mean the Microsoft Azure app service so let's begin and uh, in this video it could be long because I will be doing every uh, everything uh, from the scratch so it could be long but be with me and if you have any questions or comments or uh, any any recommendation you can uh, actually comment in the comment section okay let's begin so first we are going to create two app services into two different region so, uh, example I'm creating this um, maybe what I'm going to uh, M or EP1 for example this name I'm picking and uh, runtime stack is whatever you wish and region I am selecting um, for example yeah central us okay um, this video is basically uh, on mainly on the as a traffic manager so i'm just skipping or keeping the default value for uh, creating the web applications In the same way, we will be creating another web application for our, as our second endpoint. So, This will be another region, maybe uh, maybe West India. The the previous one is successfully created, uh, so. change it mm. I need to I need to actually uh, use at least B1 uh, basic one tire because it supports SSL otherwise otherwise we will not be able to use the uh, custom domain and SSL so application insight is not necessary so this is basic small okay so let me give it a try that the previous one is it in free tire but we need to change it we, I mean for adding the sorry let's go to app service again the first endpoint or the first app service we created that needs to be in B1 plan at least because otherwise we will not have this custom domain and SSL option so I am changing the app service plan uh, okay the plan is uh, successful and uh, let's let's go to traffic manager I mean if you search for traffic manager here you will get the traffic manager profile the traffic manager basically uh, works on uh, uh, I mean 
it can distribute uh, your load across multi region uh, the load balancer cannot use that uh, i mean uh, the load balancer can only be used in, in the same region okay so let's create a traffic manager profile and uh, the name should be this one we can use here and uh, we will distribute our traffic based on the weighted method resource group my existing resource group and create so let's uh, let it uh, do the job here and uh, let's go to our app service we have these two app service uh, pricing tire basic let let's check uh, what is uh, its app service plan yeah it's basic so yeah we have the basic app service plan for both now uh, what we will do um, first go to this app service uh, and add custom domain for it for, for so I'm going to uh, the custom domain part of the app service and click on the app, add custom domain and what we will use is this custom service uh, no no this one I mean so we will use this one trying to validate so you need to add this custom domain verification ID I already added this one but I need to add the C name so I'm going to my DNS record and I will add a new C name C name record and this will be I think P1 yes P1 which uh, will be uh, pointed to this one uh, okay uh, let's give some time and uh, let's try again to validate it oh okay uh, let's wait for a few minutes and I will get back oh, sorry uh, uh, host name is available but the domain ownership so I need to add it as well uh, that is ASUID I will need to add a txt record for it let's mm, do it txt record ASUID dot p1 and the value will be this one now let's give it a try I don't know uh, mrep1 as website.net let's double check it p1 p1 did we put p1 C name should be MREP1. Sorry, sorry, sorry. MREP1. I was putting wrong value here. It should be MREP1. Uh, sorry. Uh, what is this? Uh, P1. Sets.net. Uh, let me give some time. Sorry, I probably got the reason. There was extra two com com here, so the custom domain is P1. So I'm adding the P1 and uh, uh, C uh, as the C name record, and uh, then ASUID ASUID dot P1 and the verification ID here, and uh, now 
the extra dot com I removed that and try let's try to validate it again yeah now it's available let's add it okay so I am adding it yeah and uh, now I will acquire the private key or the PFX certificate which uh, the app service will give me so I will go to the TLS SSL setting and I will create the certificate uh, yeah uh, P1 okay let's give some time yeah the certificate has been created for the p1 uh, and my domain name so I will go to the custom domain uh, and I will add binding for for the for the certificate I just created add bindings so the binding is successful uh, okay let's do the same thing for the other uh, web app service we created so we need to first go to the custom domain and add custom domain and now th that was the error <laughs> okay so uh, uh, okay so we need to add it first okay this is the for this is for the second endpoint so let me double check yeah p2 okay let me click the validate and now host name is available so i need to create a c name for uh, for this one so p2 p2 uh, that is I need to create a CNAME record for P2 and the value should be this one and okay let's try to validate what is the problem yes UID okay okay I think I need to change the txt record so okay uh, let's copy the id and create a new one txt record is uid dot p2 that is my subdomain and save it give it a try yeah uh, so I am adding it okay so now I'm gonna go uh, go to TSL SSL setting and do the same thing I will acquire a app service managed certificate first for this p2 subdomain and I'll give some time here let me pause it okay it's, it's been created so let's go to the custom domain again and uh, and for this p2 let's add the bindings for the newly created ssl certificate so p2 and add bindings so it's secure now we need to uh, the final url we will be using this one so to do that we need to add uh, yeah, in our in both of our app services we need to add this domain as custom domain this is the trickiest part so let me copy that domain custom domain and go to first app service and try to do the same thing add a custom domain main dot okay so we need to first do this one so 
so this uh, for this we first need a txt suid dot main that is my subdomain and uh, one minute also we need to copy the c name and add a c name record that will be main and it will be pointed to this one select as little time as possible as much possible so okay uh, as this one is already created here so what we will need here uh, we need to update the so what what we are doing this is the ep1 so ep1 ep1 this is already created as p1 so we just need to change the name to main for tempor uh, temporarily just update it and now give it a try yeah so i'm gonna add this custom domain i mean the main uh, main dot my domain dot com and it's uh, successfully added so I will do the same thing I will create uh, a certificate for the main subdomain for this app service so it will uh, it will take some time yeah this uh, managed certificate is created let's go to custom domain again for this endpoint one and add bindings for this one too I mean the newly created certificate this is the tricky part actually so we will do the same thing for the second app service for second app service let's go to custom domain and we will add the same main domain I mean this one EP2 so it's showing because I already EP2 is there EP2 EP2 record is there for P2 okay just let uh, let's add it yeah and I'll let me go to uh, the TSL settings and create the same certificate I mean uh, this uh, this is not working because CNAME is not uh, so the previous one actually succeeded but this time I need to add main subdomain for this EP2 so uh, let me do that EP2 uh, EP2 so this is currently this P2 so I need to update it to main and now I will need to do it again so okay uh, I think I need to add the SS yes. uh, let me go to the custom domain part and uh, okay let me, give it, give it, uh, let me pause probably I got the reason I need to delete the uh, EP1 entry uh, I mean the, uh, the main subdomain pointing to this EP1 as a websites and point one websites so I need to remove it first and now only the thing is here main uh, cine main pointing to my endpoint 2 let's give it a try and see uh, how it does no it's giving error okay well sorry uh, what i did i i actually uh, removed all of the uh, main entries i mean uh, the cinema entries for uh, for the previously created and i just added this main cinema record pointing to this ep2 i mean the endpoint to azure websites.net this website 
and uh, I hope I, I think the domain name uh, actually uh, the propagation of the DNS record takes some time maybe that is the that is for the time issue yeah so uh, this is now eligible for uh, EP2 I mean the endpoint 2 so let's create it and give some time yeah so it's been created so I will uh, I will go to my domain name and add binding for this main, uh, main subdomain certificate for endpoint 2 so uh, and probably I also uh, I was not recording while I was not recording I I removed the yeah the binding uh, for for the main uh, I mean the first app service we created I removed the bindings uh, so I, I will uh, add the uh, sorry let's go to DSL oh I think the main certificate is here so uh, add binding so basically the trick is the main dot my domain is pointing to uh, pointing to uh, the same I mean the two different endpoints or two different app services this one and this one both have th that main dot uh, method dot com and main dot method dot com that's the thing that's the trick here so now we will go to our traffic manager and what we will do here we will add this main dot hatmitun dot com as my end as we will use we will be using this subdomain or this custom domain as our entry point so i will add uh, this one to my traffic manager so let's do it oh before that i need to actually add uh, endpoints here so uh, let's add those I mean as you and ex select external endpoint EP1 mm, and uh, the domain name will be sorry, P1 as we will be uh, dividing equally uh, we will be dividing the traffics equally to both of them so I will use the same weight value so first one is created I will add another one P2, EP2 and uh, this will be external endpoint it will be just P2 and weight will be same Okay, so we will go to we will go to uh, now now we will be pointing our main uh, DNS record. I mean uh, this main dot dot com. These two our uh, what is called the uh, this one so let's go to the main cnm record and remove this one let me remove fully otherwise it could make issue so i will delete the record add a new record add a cnm record host is the main and this will be our traffic manager uh, url uh, traffic manager domain name so now let's give it a try i don't know if that will work or not uh, ok 
okay let me fix it maybe uh, there are some issues in the traffic manager and I will I'll let you know okay at last uh, uh, finally I, I, I was able to uh, make it uh, probably uh, the, the DNS entry they were not propagating so this is the final uh, CNAME entry that is main that is pointing to the traffic manager URL and p2 is uh, p2 dot uh, my domain dot com i mean p2 dot dot com that is pointing to the second endpoint or the app service and p1 is pointing to the first app service so uh, now uh, now both of them actually are working if we go to main dot dot com you will find that this is coming from uh, this will actually change to check it let me give it a try but i don't know whether i can show you or not mm, let me change the default website a little bit um, where is the push advanced tool this is for a uh, go to second website uh, actually one website change will enough so I went to the first one let me load it okay yeah it's been loaded so go to CMD This is the default web page, so I need to change something uh, in the HTML. Your web app is live. Oh, sorry. Starting a new website. Let's let this is a end point one. Let me save it and uh, and and check it that uh, here you can see this is end point one and let me try again if that is changing. It actually changes uh, a few minutes later so uh, but it's working uh, to prove it you can see I ping my main domain first it returned this IP address which is uh, the I mean the first app service and again I ping the same domain and it returned a different IP it, it's the second app services IP so uh, it, it it is working and uh, you can see this is SSL enabled connection is secure certificate is valid uh, so this is in point it is coming from in point one let me give it another try okay one thing I can do uh, I can uh, I can stop the end point one and see how it actually behaves so if I stop the in point one this is stopped and uh, it will take some time I mean to uh, for our traffic manager to fail to start the failover so let me go here traffic manager this is degraded if you want this is enabled and uh, give it a try
so yeah <laughs> now it's coming i was too worried that it will never come but the time actually took for uh, for for the failover uh, by traffic manager but yeah this is the thing actually uh, i'm very sorry that uh, i actually did it uh, for, uh, without any editing or something like that and i will upload the video just like this way so please forgive me uh, but at least i could show you that uh, this is this is working yeah thank you and uh, have a nice day